If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, guys on the road, subscribers and followers. When I was working, I, I would work so hard, and I know you guys get so tired of me talking about how much stress I was under and how many hours I worked and how it was just terrible. And it, it was, but on the rare occasions that I would get a few hours off on a Saturday, I, I would do everything I could to slow time down. And I know that sounds crazy. How do you slow time down? Well, it's quite easy. Be as bored as possible, sitting on the couch, not doing anything, watching the clock, you know, just trying so hard not to let that clock move. And it really does help, you know, because you needed that weekend to last forever or that day to last forever because you were going to go right back to work Sunday doing the schedule and, and then Monday you're back into it just, oh, it was constant. We had made plans. We had eight acres, and, and while we lived there, we had a little pond up on the hill. It was it was like a campground. It really was on the pond. And we made plans, not plans, but we had discussed the entire time we lived there, we need to go set up a tent on top of that campground and camp out on our own property. Oh, And I really wanted to do it. I really, really wanted to do it. But I couldn't afford to waste that kind of time. I couldn't afford to to let that weekend go and and before i knew it you know if i went up there and i'd set up a tent and we'd have taken our things up there and we would sat by the fire it have been the day would have been over before it got started in my mind and so the next morning i would have had to come back down to the house do the schedule and maybe go back up on the hill and enjoy a few more hours before i had to tear everything down and bring it back down and it was the weekend's over I never did anything. I never went hunting. I never went fishing. The whole time I was working, I never did any of the things I enjoyed. I couldn't waste the time. I couldn't get a vacation. Uh, Labor Day, what, two years ago? Well, a year and a half ago, Labor Day. I looked forward to that holiday because it was a three-day weekend, and boy, I was really looking forward to that holiday. And boss comes up and says, we're gonna have to work the weekend. And we did. We worked all three days of that holiday. That was the week I had to work 90 hours. We, Carolyn one time started a little campfire outside our house. Like I said, we had eight acres. And I sat around. I don't know. It only felt like a couple hours. But it ended up being six hours. I'd sat at that campsite. And I was just devastated that I'd let that much time slip away. And it was dark. And oh, I was just devastated that that I was gonna have to go to back to work in the morning you know, to do the schedule you just there was no time to enjoy those things because you had to slow time down I see people coming down to this campsite all the time with the fishing poles and their camp or their, their tents and they come out to camp for the day or for the weekend and I sit there and I think wow it must be nice. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm glad they get to do it. I'm glad they got the lifestyle where they can come out on the weekends and actually enjoy a camping trip for the weekend or come out on a holiday like this uh, on Easter and, and enjoy the, the weekend, the extended weekend out here doing, you know, what they want to do. Well, the other day I was sitting by the campfire. Now that, you know, we've been away from work for a year and a half. I, the other day I was sitting around the campfire. Carolyn and I was sitting around and we, we were absolutely doing nothing nothing just enjoying the conversation each other's conversation watching the fire every now and then we'd have to go out in the woods pick up some you know more more firewood and bring it back in and of course you know that's always that's actually a lot of entertainment and fun and carolyn goes in the camper a little while later and uh, she says do you realize it's 420 please remember i post a video at four o'clock every day i've done it since i don't remember when i mean i've always Posted a video, 4 o'clock. Here it is, 4.20, and I'm sitting by the campfire writing the script to this video. Thinking about the campfire at the house and the whole thing. It was really coincidental. It was amazing how coincidental I was writing this script, not doing anything. We were talking about sitting around the campfire. That's what we were talking about. And here it is. She says it's 4.20. The day had completely 
completely slipped by. I missed posting the video by 20 minutes. But you know, I, w I didn't, I wasn't upset. I wasn't like I was when I was sitting in the campfire and I wasted those six hours. I wasn't upset. I, I got the video posted and it went on as normal. And actually that video is doing very well. It's just incredible how this lifestyle has changed my life. It saved my life. I'm certain I would be dead today. And that was only a year and a half ago. I'm certain I would have been dead today if I had continued working. That's how much stress I was under. You just couldn't enjoy anything. You just couldn't. You just couldn't enjoy anything. You would stay up late on the weekends and, and get up early just to make the day longer. Anyway, get out here and, and get your dream, whatever that is. Not, not saying you live in an RV, but you got to, you got to save some money up. You got to be debt free, and you got to live your dream. Don't lose it. Don't don't let it pass you by. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click like if you like the video, and happy travels.